Welcome to Brixis TV. This tutorial is about polar tracking and entity snap tracking. Polar tracking assists you to draw at exact angles, at fixed intervals and optionally at specific additional angles. Click the polar field in the status bar to activate polar tracking. Right-click the field and choose settings to edit the polar tracking variables. Polar angle defines the fixed interval. Polar add angles defines the additional angles which are separated by a semicolon. Additional angles are used only if the polar mode use additional polar tracking angles option is checked. Let me show you how it works. I saw drawing a polyline. A polar tracking path line displays from the origin point when you move the cursor close to one of the polar tracking angles. Hit the shift key to lock a track path. A lock tracking line turns red. Hit the shift key again to unlock. I type the length of the line, let's say 150, then downwards 50 and 40 at 210 degrees and 50 down again. Now I want the end of the horizontal segment to be just below the start point. I hit the shift key to lock the tracking path and snap to the start point. Choose close in the prompt menu to finish. Let's use the quad to quickly dimension the polyline to check whether all dimensions are correct. Temporary tracking points allow to start drawing at a specified distance from an existing point. I will draw a square at a distance of 40, left of the bottom left corner of the polyline. Start a rectangle command using the dimensions option and specify the length and width, both 20, to draw a square. When BricsCAD prompts to specify the first corner, I type TT and BricsCAD asks to specify a temporary tracking point. I snap to the bottom left corner of the polyline and move the cursor to the left. When the tracking line displays, I type 40 and enter and click to place the square. And add a dimension line to check right. The TK shortcut allows to enter multiple temporary tracking points. Let's copy the square to a point 60 to left and 25 down from the top left corner of the polyline. Choose copy in the quad, then specify the base point and type TK. I am now prompted to specify the first temporary tracking point. Type 60 when the horizontal tracking path displays. A small red cross indicates the temporary tracking point. Then down when the tracking path displays. Type 25 and enter and press enter again to accept the current location. and add dimension lines to check right again. Please notice that the old ortho setting and polar tracking are not compatible. Switching on the one automatically switches the other off. Entity snap tracking assists you to draw all position entities with respect to other entities. When entity snap tracking is turned on, 
BrickScat displays tracking paths based on entity snap points. At least one entity snap mode must be on if you want to use entity snap tracking. Click the S track field in the status bar or press the F11 function key to toggle this feature on or off. Under Polar mode, choose Use Polar Tracking settings in Entity Snap Tracking to have tracking paths at a polar angle interval. Otherwise, only orthogonal tracking paths are available. Let's see how it works. Hover the cursor over a reference point until a small red cross indicates that BrickScat has recognized the point as a snap tracking point. Horizontal, vertical and polar alignment paths relative to the point are displayed as you move the cursor over their drawing paths. Click at the intersection of the tracking paths to start drawing. Remember that you can lock a tracking path by hitting the Shift key. Let's move the circle using Snap Tracking. In 3D views, an additional tracking line displays parallel to the Z-axis of the current UCS. Depending on the position of the cursor, with respect to the tracking path, the path is in the XY plane or vertical. Thank you for watching this tutorial movie. Download the free trial version of BricsCAD at www.brixis.com and check it out for yourself.